Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm about to hit up Target um, on a kick. I want to go hunt for some G.I. Joe figures. I want to see if I can find the Classified Series Firefly. I think with that head sculpt I can customize it and use it for a Baron Zemo Marvel Legends custom. So stay tuned. We're about to go check out the Target and see if we can find anything. I hope we do. Best case scenario, you know, find Classified as well as the new Thanos and some House of X Legends. Worst case, I go home with absolutely nothing and this video doesn't get posted. But stay tuned, real quick, I'm go doing a giveaway. When I get to 500 subscribers, I'm giving away a CGC comic book. So bear with me, check that out, and try to win it. It's a pretty good book. I wanna show you this issue of Spider-Gwen number one. This is the Portatio variant. It's a fancy dancy comic book. We have it graded at a 9.6. This is actually a homage cover to Spider-Man number 50. What makes this book important is whenever we reach 500 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. You'll be entered into it. I will ship this to you for free. Once we get there, stay tuned. Looks like Jurassic Park got filled out a little bit more. It's pretty cool. Fortnite, Halo, no new Star Wars, He Man, Magic, Pokemon, no Hulk Hogan. No Thanos either. So I went to Target with the intent of getting some G.I. Joes. And really just rolling the dice hoping that I could see some G.I. Joes. Because they're really rare. And that's almost an appeal to me because they're so hard to find. And I am not knowledgeable about G.I. Joe. I've seen the two movies that came out outside of that i don't know anything about it so if you have any gi joe knowledge please drop me a comment and educate me because i would love to learn about it all right so you saw they didn't have much to offer down the toy hall so we'll see if there's anything new for NECA, which it does not look like they still have these two packs not much of any kind of restock I love this Beetlejuice. These McFarlands haven't been moved. Nope, that's it. But I do have a really good story to tell you about this guy. So stay tuned. So they did not have any GI Joes. Good go figure, my target hardly ever does. I found them once, ever. Walmart normally does a better job carrying them, but you know, neither here nor there. So the recording stops because I ran into Mr. David, who happens to be the department manager for toys at our Target. And he, he's a really sweet guy. I couldn't say anything bad about him ever. He goes above and beyond. Dude's awesome. So I ran into him and I stopped recording because I don't want to film him. Even though he's cool with it, I just respect privacy, da 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 da, -da. So to make it quick, short, long story quick, I got the new Thanos. Not only did I get the Thanos, but they only had two. And they had not been on the shelf yet because I didn't have a place to put it yet. So I got myself one as well as my friend Justin. And I skipped on this. Whenever they announced that this was coming out, I completely skipped on it because I didn't care too much because I love the Walmart version. I love that Walmart Thanos. Once I've, now that I've seen this, I'm so glad I picked it up. It looks great, and I can't wait to sit and compare these two for you guys. So we're about to rip into that once I get home. Hey guys, now that I've made it home, we can unbox this Thanos and talk about it. I'm definitely going to compare it to this Walmart Thanos. So with this Walmart Thanos, all right, I absolutely 
love this action figure. This is one of those action figures where you spend $20 on it. Some people get it for cheaper. Some have to pay a little bit more. It has a ton of value. Like you can display it. It looks great mint on card. It looks amazing on your shelf. It has amazing sculpt. The paint is eh. If you haven't seen my video for the top 10 Marvel Legends of all time, Link one is like top five and he's been out for almost four years now so we are in need of an update the packaging on this figure is sick like i don't want to open this up but i gotta so we're about to go ahead and cut into it before we get into the detail of it everyone knows this comes with a cut out of the throne which is super great i hope they do more backgrounds because i'm gonna keep this just for the background normally i would throw away but now a is staying with me so when you take it out and this is what you're pulling out and you just see that thrown as the background there's a whole galaxy scene i already know it's gonna be good i haven't opened it up to expand it yet but that's the throne and what a beautiful background that is like even though it's just something easily printed this this is infinitely better than any just blue basic background or a red X like Hasbro. This is the way. I'm going to start with the, the King Thanos head sculpt because that's what I'm most excited for out of this package. The camera doesn't pick it up accurately. It's not in focus. But words don't describe how beautiful this head sculpt is. Let's see if it picks that up. The colors on this guy is so good. Mine has all kinds of paint issues, though. I'm not quite sure what's going on with these square feet. But man, he's got some small feet. They are itty-bitty compared to the rest of his body. It's comical. Even though I was making jokes about his small itty-bitty feet, you can pose this guy just as easy as the Juggernaut Marvel Legends figure, which is amazing. He has incredible balance. Like... I just love that pose. Like, he is he is ready to come get you. Like, all I need is my little 80th Iron Man right here. And... Alright, about to do the head swap. Ooh. You know what? Initially, I did not like the jackhammer joint. But I've gotten used to him. I love this system. It makes it better. This head sculpt, it, this is a big head sculpt. It's much larger than the old one, right? All right, guys, and being totally transparent with this review, initially when I started off, this Walmart... I love that figure. And I was a skeptic. I didn't think this was worth 30 but easily a top three greatest Marvel legend of all time. Thanos figure, I hope it was informative to you, but more than anything, I really hope that it'll persuade you as someone who did not want the figure to begin with, Just how your Thanos is supposed to be in your display. By all means, let me know what you think in the comments. And please educate me on G.I. Joe because I would love to learn. Thank you guys and stay safe out there because the world...